set of steps that you usually take uh, in order to build containers. So this is what I like to define as conventional. I build a lot of my containers this way, um, although I've started to uh, use build packs more and more. And build packs, uh, I'd like to present build packs as an alternative to that process that you just saw where you're um, basically writing a Docker file, et cetera, et cetera. And build packs allow you to extract the same kind of behavior that were outlined in those four uh, steps in order to produce containers. And the story of build packs is just like any other tech project. There, uh, it was pioneered by the folks at Heroku. Um, the pattern was picked up by the community at Pivotal around Cloud Foundry. And like every um, successful tech product, once it became uh, good and a lot of developers started to use it, they branched and decided to go their own way, build their own specifications. And um, the Heroku terminology was to build slugs and the Cloud Foundry way was to build droplets, um, which they were both basically tar files and things like that under the hood. But um, obviously engineers being engineers wanted to do uh, the same thing, but call it something very different. And uh, But what's good is the two communities have now come together and for the past four, nearly five years, they've been hard at work in unifying all of the lessons that were learned at Heroku and at Pivotal. And they now have uh, a cloud native build pack specification. A lot of companies um, have bought into the idea and the notion of build packs. Uh, we see a lot of usage. We're seeing a lot of adopters um, come in and add their names to a list that we're maintaining. So if you're among those who are taking advantage of build packs now or in future, please remember to add yourself uh, to the list. But like I said, the, the area that we're seeing a lot of usage in is in building platforms for app developers and things like that. So the main area where build packs is sort of providing the optimization is writing a Docker file uh, for a lot of apps, writing large Docker files and maintaining them is becoming a bit of an overhead that a lot of like big and small and medium and all sorts of companies in different shapes and sizes don't want to keep doing. And so <clears throat> build packs offer this um, simpler alternative where you can, you can technically get away with just saying pack build and provide a container name, much like you would do a Docker build. Um, but you can specify a language family or a build pack type if you uh, want to do that. And the good thing I like about build packs and what I like to highlight every time I speak about them is they work very well with existing Docker workflow. So if you have a Docker based workflow right now and you start to, and you want to adopt build packs, you can continue to use the same workflow that you have for your existing container images and the containers built using build pack will just work with them. And the images using build, um, build packs will just work with your existing workflows. Um, here are some very quick examples. This is the best I could do for a command line during a lightning talk. Uh, but basically the, the, all of this just highlights, uh, you know, all different Docker commands run against um, an image produced using build packs and they all kind of uh, work exactly the same. Build packs follow a life cycle uh, where the main steps are to detect to build and to export uh, from source. And they also optimize further through these steps called analyze and uh, restore, which is basically taking advantage of a lot of caching when you run a build for the second time. The names are very self-explanatory. I won't go into details. Uh, the documentation provides a lot of the information. My big call to action is please do visit buildpacks.io. That's where uh, the project lives. It's a CNCF project, so free and open source for everybody to learn, try, and contribute, obviously. If you're interested in learning more, uh, there's a Buildpacks booth at the Project Pavilion. Uh, please do visit. Um, you can get a limited edition Buildpacks t-shirt, <laughs> if not for more information and things like that. There's also a few maintainers who are going to be at uh, the Cloud Foundry Foundation booth. Um, again, 
all in the sponsor showcase. But yeah, thanks for your time and thanks for having me.